Hi everybody, we're going to do a little review of the Unit 5 Foundations material. We're going to start with talking about slope for a few minutes and then uh, move on to the first two equations, forms of equations of a line. Don't forget the equation for a slope. The equation for a slope, we've called it in class, we've called it rise over run. Rise refers to the vertical change. Run refers to the horizontal change. So I'm going to write vertical change with two e's apparently, sorry, and horizontal change. Don't forget which goes on top and which goes on the bottom. Um, in more formal math terms, this is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Um, so let's just run into straight to an example and apply that idea here. Let's look at the points 3 minus 3 and 1, 2. Well, for the first time through here, oh, let me back up just a second. Let's point out here that when in this example, this, this formula that I wrote here, this x and y needs to come from the same point, and this x and y has to come from the same point. That's what those little subscripts 1 and 2 mean. y's go on top, x's go on the bottom, one point comes first here in the red circle, and one point comes second here in the green circle. For this example, for the, the first time here, I'm going to use this as my point 1, or the green circle, and this is my point 2, the red circle. So let's figure out the slope of the line between these two points. We're going to put our y's on top, so we're going to figure out the y2 is 2, that's this point right here, this value right here, this is the y value of point 2, minus the y value of, this, of point 1 here, which is a negative 3, over the x value of our second point, which is a 1, minus the x value of our first point, which is a 3. 2 minus a negative equals pl a plus, so we've got 2 plus 3, over 1 minus 3. 2 plus 3 is 5. 1 minus 2 is a negative 2. So this equals a slope of negative 5, and a, five halves. But I know some of you worry which point should be 1 and which point should be 2. Well, let's, let's see about that. What if I change things up a little bit here and I call this our point 1? and I call this our point 2. Well, let's see what we get now. Now we've got negative 3 minus 2. So I've got this y value minus this y value over 3 minus 1. This x value minus this x value. And what do we get? Well, a negative 3 minus 2 is the same thing as uh, negative 3 plus a negative 2, if that helps which equals a negative 5 over 3 minus 1 is 2, which equals a negative 5 halves, the exact same answer. So as you can see, it doesn't matter which point you do first. Okay, let's do an example of how to take what we now know about slopes and use that with the slope-intercept form of the equation. Slope intercept form of an equation of a line is y equals mx plus b. m represents the slope, the numeric value for the slope. b represents the y value for the y intercept. So we're talking about, um, let me just do a real quick graph here. If this is our x and y axes, and this is a line on our coordinate plane, um, it's this point right here. Let's do this. The b-intercept is referring to that point right there. In this case, it's 2. So we're going to say that our b-intercept of this point would be 2. 
let's go ahead and just figure out the equation for this line. So the two points, we have two points here that our, our line is going through. It's going through the point 0, 2, and it's going through the point 3, 0. What is the slope of our line? Well, we'll call um, the 3, 0 our y2. So we're going to go 0 minus 2 over 3 minus 0. So I considered, um, I don't remember what colors I used on the, oh, I used red for point 1. So in this case, this was my point 1, and this was my point 2. So I've got the, the y value from point 2 minus the y value from point 1 on top, and the x value from point 2 on the bottom minus the x value of point 1. And this is going to give me a negative 2 over 3. So if we want to figure out the slope-intercept equation form of the equation for this line, well, slope-intercept is y equals mx plus b. We already talked about our b. Our b is the y value for the point where the line crosses the y-axis. So our b value is going to be 2. We just calculated our slope. It's negative 2 thirds. Leave in the x, leave in the plus, y equals, there you go. This is the slope intercept form of the equation for the line shown in that graph. Let's do one more quick slope intercept example. Um, Remember, slope intercept is y equals mx plus b. Quite often, I'm just going to tell you, okay, for a line with a slope equal to 3 fourths and a y-intercept equal to negative 4, find me the slope intercept form of the equation for this line. And that's as easy as taking slope and plugging it in for m. So y equals 3 fourths, leave the x, plus, and then b is the y value for the intercept. That goes in for b. That wasn't a very good arrow, but you get the point. And this, be, this right here is a negative 4. One more thing to clean it up right. Plus a negative is what? That's minus. So we got y equals 3 fourths x minus 4. So the, this is the slope intercept form of an equation for a line with slope 3 fourths and y intercept of negative 4. So there you go. Um, hopefully that helped with slope intercept. I'm going to make another quick video about point slope form. So go look uh, for the link on Ames and, and continue with that one.